Aloha everybody, uh, Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel. And I was actually gonna record a different video, but then life happened uh, today. Uh, I had to go to Walmart, I had my little list out. I went to visit, visit the people of Walmart and see how they are, they're there. Same as always. And um, I had a list, had a few things I had to get. Garbage bags, I got scented garbage bags. You ever get the scented garbage bags? I mean, I've had them before and I've also gotten the regular ones and I don't know. I mean, it's only a little bit more expensive, slightly, to get the scented ones. And they do smell nice, although I have to say, upon using them before, I can't say that I ever opened up the drawer where I keep my garbage bin and felt like it was scented in anything other than garbage. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's only a little bit more expensive, so I got that. Got some more cold medicine. I've had kind of a cold or whatever. And you know, I've mentioned it before. Um, like, I'm not bad, I'm fine, but I just have a, it's not COVID, it's just a cold. And uh, I have uh, multiple sclerosis. So uh, what happens is that when I get a cold, I seem to have it for like two months or something. It's ridiculous, like a, it just lingers forever. And then when I'm coming out of it, finally, I'll have a little exasperation of MS, a lot of weird numbness that is in addition to the numbness I always have, other weird traveling numbness that happens. And I get super exhausted at some point and really tired for a day or whatever, like that always happens. Um, so, you know, we'll see, but I had to get some more medicine because I've run through all I've had in the house. Uh, what else did I get? Yeah, some frozen food and stuff. I was in a little bit of a cooking mood and that has passed. I'm back to like restaurants and <laughs> uh, the air fryer and the microwave and stir fry here and there, you know. But um, DoorDash, always an option, a good option. Uh, but I'm still eating pretty healthy. I'm still like, I'm not that, that, uh, I don't know, the last chat we had, I was telling you about my doctor and I have to like, lose between five and 10 pounds and get my sugar levels, glucose levels down. So I, I really truly have just cut out sweets. I have not been eating any sweets. I went at all, zero, none. So, and it's okay. It's been a couple of weeks of doing that. And I'm, I think I've reached that point. You know, you can reach a point where like, if you just stop doing something for a couple of weeks, um, sudden, sometimes depending on what it is, it's not a challenge anymore. And I kind of feel that way with the sweets. I feel like I've, I was in Walmart today walking around and I saw everything and there was never a moment that I was like, just one, I'll just eat one box of these, like never happened. Uh, and in fact, we had our pageant this weekend, Miss Hawaii USA, Miss Hawaii Teen USA, and I, I've been really busy since Wednesday with that. And we, uh, I went through the whole time without eating any sweets. And there were the most boxes and boxes of the most delicious mochi donuts in the world there. And I didn't, didn't have one. So good. I've been good that way and walking more. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, I did get some frozen and stuff for the air fryer though. Cause I, I love that. Um, what else did I get? Oh, so I'm just looking around and Looking in their expanded clearance section, they have a bit of a larger clearance section that they had before. And uh, turn around the corner, go down the aisle, bam. Half a wall of light clearance, wax. Wax melts, my heart just leapt into my mouth and I'm like, ah. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. The, and it's all uh, winter, fall and winter scents basically is of course all their wax and it's uh you know they had about half yankee candle melts and about half sensationals so um i was just making a mad dash and like throwing things left and right in the cart some things i was smelling some things i wasn't uh, i did get you know extras of some things that uh i really liked and, or I know I've liked from the past. And I just uh, branched out and got some other scents that I didn't really have had before or whatever. Didn't really exactly know what they were. And here's the shocker. Well, not this is not the shocker. The, the Yankee Candles were uh, melts. These puppies were all 75 cents. 
and the sensational melts these guys here were all 50 cents a piece so that's when you buy in quantity that's the cheapest they ever get here so just you know load up the cart so i didn't even count them what did i get uh two four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. It looks like about 30. And let's go through them. I'll just kind of quickly show you what I got. And, and the shocker, <laughs> I actually looked up some of the scent definitions or scent descriptions of the scents I didn't know what they were from Yankee Candle and, and Sensationals, because, you know, sometimes the names are like, don't really tell you. Um, I actually looked them up online, so I'm like a serious wax melt reviewer now. <laughs> sort of. Anyway, 75 cents. First up, Warm Lux Cashmere, which is Warm Lux Cashmere. Fancy that. Yankee Candle. Pretty blue. Very warm. Very cashmere, very nice. There is something else in there. It's not in the scent description, but I don't know. A little amber or something. Oh, I did get one big value pack of Better Homes and Gardens. So the big ones were $1. And this is Vanilla and Cookie Crunch, which is sort of self-explanatory, and that's what it is. I picked up two of these. I thought these were quite nice. Um... Yankee Candle Sugar Spun Sugar Flurries. Oh, white wax. And their description here is uh, cake, frosted fruits, powdered sugar, pow powdered and spun sugar. I'm not sure how they smell differently. This one doesn't even open. And this is a really nice scent. Does it fit that description? Cake? I don't know. Where's the cake? I definitely get kind of a frosted fruits and a powdered sugar. It's almost more like an ice to me. It almost smells more like a, like an icy with, uh, of different kind of fruits and maybe some, throwing some powdered sugar on top of it. I know that sounds strange, but that's more, I don't get cake out of this, but, um, it's a really nice scent. Very nice. And, you know, I know it's marketed as a Christmas scent. It's not necessarily Christmas. I mean... I don't know. Uh, then we have this one here. Snowflake Kisses. Kind of wish I'd gotten more of these. I just got the one. Snowflakes, Violet Rose, and White Musk. Nice pink wax. Yeah, this is nice. I get all of those notes. There's a little rose, a little violet, and a light musk. Really a nice one. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd picked up more of these. I'm not going to go back tomorrow. i got to work tomorrow. Ugh, but yeah, nice. 75 cents. Oh, well, here I am playing this old guitar on this old record. Maybe you don't even know what a record album is. Maybe you've never even seen one of those anymore. Anyway, I'm going to invite you to tune in to an online radio station that plays records, vinyl, old stuff, rescued from the dollar record bin. And it's a kind of music, you know, you may be young enough that you don't even, you, don't, you never heard music like this. It's called Easy Listening, also called Mood Music. You know what it is? It's, it's people actually playing a guitar. Maybe they're playing a flute or a piano, like a real piano, and singing. And people singing together, like in a group, and without auto-tune. Yeah, that's right. That's right, no auto-tune. I mean, people actually used to be able to do that back in my day. Anyway, you can hear some of that, because Mr. Kaiwaza, he's spinning those records 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's online on a free-to-listen-to radio station called Moody Mood Music. Maybe you should check it out. You might hear some music, actual music, that you really enjoy. It won't bring back any memories if you're that young, because you won't even know it. But, well, you'll get a sense of what you missed anyway. And here's some darn good music by real musicians. That's Moody Mood Music on Live 365. Just click on the link below in the description. It'll take you there directly. Uh, this one we know, Silver Birch, beautiful, lovely, wonderful. Oh, and the other one I didn't know that I had to look up, that I picked up was Winter Night Stars. Pretty dark wax there. This one says Rose, Amber, and Musk on an Icy Breeze.
really nice. Yeah, rose amber, definitely the musk, muskiness, definitely some amberness, amberness, rose, rose, I guess. It's not, it's warm. It's a very nice and warm scent. I like it. And I picked up a couple of, two of these, uh, dried lavender and oak. That's pretty self-explanatory. Nice, you definitely get the lavender first and it's a kind of an astringent lavender with the oaky wood. Super nice. I got two. Maybe I should have got three, four, five, six. I don't know. hundred. Maybe I should have just taken everything. Now, of course, at, as usual, I don't know if you guys do clearance wax at Walmart and if this happens to you, but I don't go through, I don't like self-checkout anyway, but I definitely don't do it when I have wax or when I have things that I've taken from clearance, because I can tell you like probably 50% of the time, anything that I take from clearance and ring up self on the on the register um, doesn't ring in at clearance price. It doesn't. Um, and indeed it's happened with wax, candle wax before, um, where they have a whole bunch, a slew of stuff on sale for 50 cents or 75. And some of it rings up at 50 cents and some of it rings up at like $3. And to get, like, it's all over the place. So I have learned <laughs> when I go to Walmart and buy clearance wax or clearance anything, definitely go to the, the person check out not the self-checkout because they will not help you at self-checkout they just say no that's what it rings up that's what it is la 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 um so no uh go to the cashier and before they start ringing it up i have it separated out i'm like these are all supposed to be 50 cents these are all supposed to be 75 cents i take a picture at clearance i show it on my phone here they are in the clearance section boom and sure enough, half of them don't ring up the right price and she has to manually change, go through and change them. And I'm always like, sorry, but you know, sorry, but not sorry to the people behind me. Like this is, happens all the time. Whoever puts their prices in the register there at Walmart does not do their job right when it comes to clearance items and some things they catch and some things they just don't. And it's like a regular price or some or a weird price. Okay. Yeah, because some of these, you might see some of these sensational ones. Actually, there's a couple that have a, a tag on it that say $1.15, but they're all in these things that where the other ones all say 50 cents and the signage up front all says 50 cents. And I'm like, these things are supposed to be 50 cents. That's, that's it. Okay, so there were a few sensational ones that I looked up that didn't have a scent description on them. And I looked them up and interestingly, none of them were on their website. So I guess it's a true clearance, like they're on. They are, they're out of here. So they don't even have the description on their site. Uh, one is Oh So Cozy. Nice. I know I'm like putting my nose right in these things. I'm snorting wax melts. Uh, I don't know what it is. You know, I don't know. It's just, it is a cozy scent. Maybe it's a little bit cashmere-y. Maybe it's a little bit... I want to say a little bit cranberry-esque or a little something in there that's astringent. I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Sparkle, time to shine, sort of a salmon-colored wax in person. Looks really orange when I'm looking at it here, but this one, I don't know what this is supposed to be, but darn, this is a fruity, fruity, fruity scent. This is like super, Fruit Loops is what it's like candy, you know, artificial uh, fruits. Yeah, this is definitely like a really strong fruit loop scent. I don't know what that has to do with sparkling, but we're here for it. And then there's Warm Cottage. I should have taken the price tag off of that, which is a nice brownish beige color. That's a really nice scent. I kind of wish I had picked up more of those now that I'm smelling it. It's a um, Again, it's hard to identify, but definitely like a material or a flannel or cashmere, some kind of nice warm blanket scent with like a fire going. And perfumey. There's some something that's definitely to me a feminine scent, a feminine perfume element in this. Mmm, it's a really pretty. It's a nice one. Warm cottage. 
All right, and let's look at the rest. There's 600 more. We got Sensational's Wonderland, which is berry, apple, and peonies. Of aqua, this is a weird color combination here. That's nice, yeah. I guess I don't really need to smell everything. I'm gonna bore you to death. Uh, some of these things are self-explanatory. Candy cane ice cream. I think you can figure that one out. Although I tell you, I smell chocolate in this, which is disappointing. It's like chocolate chip and candy cane. That's not what I want. Warm apple pie. Mm, that's good. More apple than bakery, but that's, that's a good one. Uh, maple and sugar drizzles. Oh, that's that. You know, that is really nice. I mean, it's maple, but it's almost effervescent. It almost smells like a fizzy drink. Like if you had a fizzy drink that was maple and very sugary and a little bit of cinnamony in there, but it was a like a Sprite or something. Darn. This is nice. I should have got more of these too. I don't think I even smelled that in the store. That's really nice. Orange, buttercream, and cupcake. There was some lady standing next to me while I was going through these. And you know how now you, you can't tell whether people are crazy or whatever because they're on their, you know, they have little hidden earbuds or whatever. They're on their phone with people. They're talking to somebody. They don't even have their phone out. It's, I don't even know how it works. Or maybe she was just crazy, but um, that's nice. Orange, more orange than buttercream. Very nice. Um, so she's talking, oh, yada, 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 yada. So like, I don't really know how you melt these. Yeah, what do you do with these things? Do you, well, like, and she's talking on the phone to somebody. I think she's talking to the phone and she asked like three times. She's like, excuse me, do you know? And that like, she was talking to me. I'm going, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. I said, you have a melter or whatever. And she's like, oh, I just throw it in. I had some, I just throw it in a candle and, um, you know, it seemed to work okay. I was like, oh yeah, I get, you know, you could pour some wax out or whatever of a candle and throw it in there. I guess that would be fine and that would work okay. Or I said, you can pick up melters really cheap here at Walmart or like a thrift store, really, really cheap. And she was like, oh yeah, 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 I was, yeah, I was talking to you. She looks at me and then she goes back to the phone and she's talking to her friend. And she's like, oh yeah, no, I don't know. They have all these wax. And I'm like, and she's saying other things I'm like, who the are you talking to like I, are you talking to me are you talking to the person on the phone I just kind of like whatever went on about my business uh caramel apple spice because I was just like throwing things in the cart that's nice not super strong that one mm -mm. frosted cinnamon cookie that doesn't smell very much yeah, that's kind of like, that doesn't smell like much of anything, actually. Curious. Pumpkin apple muffins. I didn't get too much pumpkin stuff. There was a lot of pumpkin stuff, but I have pumpkin stuff still. This one, not super strong either. I don't, there gotta be, how do you date these things? Is there a way to tell the date on these? Blissful, limited edition, not very blissful. It's not very strong either. It kind of doesn't smell like much of anything. Okay. I got wax melts falling all over the place. Farm apple and pumpkin. That's got to be good, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm, mmm. Apple, apple, baby, and pumpkin. And again, it's got a fizzy element. It's like, a, why does it? I mean, I love it, but it's like, it's like a pumpkin apple fizzy drink. Mmm. This would make such a good like martini or a mixed drink if it smelled like that. Okay, and then there are ones that I did pick up a couple. I thought I picked up a couple of these, but I'm disappointed I didn't because this is so spot on. Let me take the, I'm not even sure what the name is. Price tag over it. Marshmallow Krispies. I knew from the picture. This. 
Wow, this is so spot on. It's strong and it is so Marshmallow Krispies. Nice, I wish I'd gotten a couple of those. Yeah, I didn't, oh I did. Good for me. <laughs> uh, and I also got a couple of these, cereal cake. I feel somewhat of a related scent, but um, this one is definitely, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like if you made a cake out of Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms or something. It's good. Not, It's not as strong as the Marshmallow Krispies, but yeah, we like it. And then finally, I got two of these. Feeling cozy. Um, a very light pink sort of beige color. It says warm woods and crisp apple. I feel that's a very odd label if the scent is warm woods and crisp apple, don't you? I mean, I would think this is like gonna be a cashmere scent or something when I look at that. And it is. I don't know where the warm woods and apple come from. What the heck is warm woods and apple about this? This is totally like a cashmere scent, warm, uh, flannel, cashmere, like out of the washer, out of the dryer, but very, not laundry scent, but very clean and warm and snuggly. Yeah, got two of those. Okay, that's what I got. Everything was 50 cents or 75 cents. So load it up. It's all, you know, fall and, and winter, but there's quite a few scents in there that I would melt any time of the year. There's a lot that I wouldn't, you know, unless something is specifically Christmassy, pumpkin-y, um, you know, I feel like it can, you can melt them all different times of the year and combine them with other things. So I don't know if you have a, having a sale at your Walmart. Might want to check it out and see if it's on clearance because this is the time. If it is, this is the time to be grabbing it. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. If you have any of these melts or scents or any experience with them, let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget, you can check out my radio station. Um, I have three of them actually, but one's linked below. You can check that out. And I will talk to you in the next video, which should be pretty soon now that the pageant's over. And I have a couple of ideas and things floating around. So, all right. Talk to you next time.